So today we're going to show you three songs, and they're all by the same artist. Okay. But there are no music videos, so you're just going to have to listen to them. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm ready. Hey, I like bitch who is your mess. Hey, can't keep my dick in my pants. Hey, can't keep his dick in his pants. Hey, can't keep my dick in my pants. Hey, oh my gosh. Really? Can't keep my dick in my pants. Ah! Oh. No! She can't me out on life, bro. I have no idea what this is. Hey, hey, hey. Who is this? How old is this child singing this? He sounds 12. Is he about 12? I give her this year, man. The beat is really fine. Just got a pound of the booth. But that shit straight to the booth. Booth. What's a booth? The lyrics are constantly talking about drugs. I put a hole in your parents. That's terrible. I can't believe people listen to this. Look at me, Okay, I like it, but I have no idea what it is. Look at me, look at me, yeah. Fuck on me. Yeah. I took a That little bitch got a throw. Fuck. I like my ears are curling. That little bitch got a throw. Fuck. I like Wow. He's so angry. Wow. 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 So I feel like he's a feminist then, right? Look at me, fuck on me, look at me. Very demanding individual. Look at me, fuck on me, look at me, yeah. Nice beat. But I don't like the words at all. It's just take every bad word, offensive word, and just just put it in a sentence. Can't think of any other better way to get your point across. You have to be vile and disgusting. It's stupid. I like the beat. I, you know, good for him on the lyrics. I am not an overly protective parent, so I don't have a problem with that. He still sounds a little angry. I'm so angry. This one has like a death metal undertone. I'm embarrassed. I like to be. Go to my happy place. <laughs> Go to my happy place. <laughs> I like the it, It's not clicking with me. This is just dumb. How's he going to give me a heart attack? What the fuck is that? I like the beat. And then until you start listening to the words, and you're like, oh. Get a thesaurus. There's so many words you can use to get your point across. You don't need to be vile. You don't need to be disgusting. It's just so much fun to dance to. But then you listen to the words. It's just assaulting my whole brain. He seems more calm now. Like he's in love. And I fuck you too. He's about to get him some. I fuck you too. Oh my gosh, really? I fuck you too. I fuck you too. I'm just gonna talk so I don't have to listen to the lyrics. But, um, you know, it's slower, so that's okay. This is the things I really definitely wanted my kids to stay away from. Like, she don't gotta wait on me. No one, you don't wanna, you don't wanna, you don't wanna, you don't wanna. What's the name of this one? Oh, I should have let you know my. Oh, he's so sweet. Well, maybe you could have let her know if you weren't so freaking angry all the time. Wow. Oh, man. Just what the ladies want to hear. Who produced this? Who listens to this? No, no, no. Okay. In this one, he's just chill. And I was like, okay, I like that one. I like the slow jam. I like slow jams. It was fine. I don't hate it. I wouldn't turn it off. It came on. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. If I find out my kids are listening to this, I'd kill them. Those songs were all by the artist XXX Tentacion. I have never heard of that person. Wow, never heard of him. Of course, Triple X would be in there. But we're covering today because our viewers have been requesting him for a long time. Really? Okay. Are you serious right now? So people do know who this is. What do you think about his music? It's bad. Back in the day, music told a story. I love to beat all of it, but some of it was a little rough. Inappropriate, disgusting, vile, I don't like it. Well, he started to blow up in part due to his lyrics, and we have some of that for you 
you to read. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't bring my reading glasses. I hope it's printed big. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> okay. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, beep, who is your man's? I'm like, bitch. So it's not even proper grammar. No. Can't keep my dick in my pants. Oh, he's a poet. My witch would be, don't love me no more. <laughs> she kicked me out like I'm Vero. What's that? Vro? What is Vro? I can't figure out what's going on. You pull a gun on my man's. What the hell? You pull a gun on my man's. I put a hole in your parents. That doesn't rhyme. I put a hole in your parents? Wow. He'll just take care of someone if they mess with his homies. What the fuck? Who types this shit out and is like... I just got a lean on my, was it Cusby? I just got a lean on my Kasubis. I got an Uzi. No Uzi. Just kidding. Fuck on me. <laughs> Oh, God. Fuck on me, look at me, fuck on me, look at me. He wants you to get on him and then look at him. Get on me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Are you looking at me? Can I have a bar of soap, please? It's a song, it's art, it's meant to be provocative. I don't think they're dangerous. That's, you know, bad parenting is dangerous. Does being a parent impact the way you feel about lyrics? Honestly, probably, my son probably has his phone, this song in his phone. No matter what they listen to, we should be able to guide them and talk to them anyway. They can listen to any music they want, and it is just my job to point out, uh, you know what, uh, I don't like it, I hope you listen to better music than that. When you become a parent, it puts a different lens on everything. I was going around trying to listen to um, the Beastie Boys. Like, that was, that was my like sneaking around. It does change my, my outlook on things. Music is such an outlet um, that's so influential to little kids. Unfortunately, stuff like that just causes anger and problems. You want them to um, you know, experience their life, their childhood, age appropriate. As they start to get older, you know, they have to learn what's out there in the real world, and you just kind of want to shelter your kids. XXXTentacion is only 19 years old. Wow. He's so precious. But has been accused of multiple charges, including robbery, assault with a deadly weapon, and even battery of his girlfriend. But some speculate that these claims are false due to his newfound fame. Great. Great. And that disappoints a lot of his fans who see so much talent and potential from someone so young. When there is someone so talented and becomes idolized by people like your kids, but then these things happen, how do you talk to them about that? It's about choices. People enjoy the music. And so like, are you gonna use that power for good or for evil? And you have to make that choice. And that's how I frame it with my little ones at home. You have to explain it to them. And even then it may take multiple conversations, but you have to make the effort as a parent to, to parent. It would be a long conversation. That's when I would sit down with them and, and, and tell them real life experiences. Um, I would point out what happened to so-and-so. Look at this, I knew this guy, this is what happened. I just tend to be really honest with them. When you're an artist, I do believe you have a certain responsibility because people are following you. They are looking at you. The platform and the person uh, should match. I don't think that I've ever told them not to listen to music because of somebody's behavior, Chris Brown, but there's a difference between really liking their music and putting value into their art and following their behavior model and doing everything else. I just try to tell my son, like, don't, don't listen to the hype and always try to glorify everything. Yeah, I know you like the lyrics, you like the beat to it, but just really pay attention to, um, you know, their lifestyle. I would try and understand, what is it about those lyrics that you think is is art? You can't get mad at the lyrics. If someone likes lyrics like that, you need to find out what is it in them that has these lyrics resonate. Finally, after talking about XXXTentacion, would you be okay with your kids listening to his music? No, nah, that has zero, zero good in it. No. No. Not at all. I'm gonna go to, to my daughter and my son, and I'm gonna tell them that that I, I wanna I wanna listen to at least a couple of songs. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I'm not gonna prevent them just because of the lyrics or even because of his jail time. No, absolutely not. Yeah. I feel like, you know, long as I know my parenting skills, I know what I talk to my son about, so I'm very confident of, you know, what he listened to. If he sees like a true artistic piece in it that I don't get, that I'm not seeing, yeah, I can't tell. I'm not gonna tell him. 
Don't listen to that. Thanks for watching this episode of Parents React. New videos almost every day. Subscribe. Let us know in the comments what music artists we should react to next. Goodbye, guys. Hey, guys, it's Ethan, a producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Parents React. We've got plenty more episodes for you to watch, so go ahead and click down below.